Okay, uh, I wanted to put together a little of overview for you for the um, Chapter 5 Comprehensive Problem. Now, the purpose of the Comprehensive Problem is to test your understanding of the uh, nine steps of the accounting cycle that we have been working on um, throughout this quarter. Um, so this assignment, even though it is considered a homework assignment, functions a little bit more like an, like an exam than it does an actual homework assignment. Uh, meaning, you're only going to get one chance to submit your answer. You're not going to get to check your answer three times. And it's comprehensive. It's, cu it's testing you over stuff we did in Chapter 2, stuff we did in Chapter 3, and stuff we do, do in Chapter 4. So, um, here's a course. This may not be your course, but, you know, a course, and that's good enough. I'm going to click on Homework. And I'm going to go down to um, Unit 5, Assignment B, Required Comprehensive Problem. And let's open the very first one. Let's see, we got enough of that on there? Okay. What happens if I make it bigger here? Um... Yeah, all right, let's drag that up there. Okay, so um, I want to start with the requirements. So there, there's four parts to this. Requirement one says uh, record each transaction in the journal, key each transaction by the letter, um, explanations are not necessary, then we're going to post these journals into our ledger. So uh, immediately, number one, starts with uh, analyzing transactions, journalizing transactions, and posting to the ledger. Um, I'll come back to this in a second. So the transactions are listed here. We open that up and you can see here's transaction A. It's also listed here. And so what we want you to do is um, you know, record the journal entry to begin operations by receiving uh, Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. A six thousand dollars cash um, truck at valued at eleven thousand, and the company gave capital to Matthew for those items. Okay, you'll enter them. You get one chance to check your answer. You hit check answer. You'll see whether it's right or wrong, and then letter B will open up, and you'll proceed that way. So you'll go through all of these transactions, analyzing them and journalizing them then you will go and post them into the ledger. So this is a, you know, there's a lot of stuff there. This is a pretty big assignment. Note that it says in the requirements that once you're done with this, you should print out this problem. There's the print button. Um, and, and by the way, you may want to print it ahead of time uh, if you'd like to work the stuff by hand first. But um, because we use information from uh, one of these parts in the other parts, it's probably a good idea to uh, print these out. If you don't have a printer, I realize that occasionally some students don't have access to printers, then it's going to take a little bit longer, but what you're going to need to do is write down the ending balances of all of the accounts, basically preparing an unadjusted trial balance. So let's take a look at number two, part two. Part two starts again with this idea of a worksheet. Um, so what you're going to have to do is enter in, enter in the unadjusted trial balance information into these accounts. Uh, once you do that, I'm going to click on the requirement button here. Once you've entered the trial balance information in, then you need to enter the adjusting entries into the worksheet. Again, um, the podcast from Chapter 4 showed you how to do this if you have any questions about that. Once you've checked your work there, then it opens up the next section, and then you'll need to create the adjusted trial balance. Um, uh, at that point, once you're done, you're going to want to print off the worksheet. Again, here's the print button. You want to print off the worksheet because you're going to use the worksheet to help you prepare the financial statements. So let's look at part three. 
Part 3 then asks you to prepare the financial statements. So let's look at the requirements. So we're going to use the information from the worksheet, the adjusted trial balance, and um, we're going to prepare the income statement, statement of owner's equity, and classified balance sheet. And it tells you in the income statement, list expenses largest to smallest. On the classified balance sheet, you list things uh, via the order of liquidity, which we talked about in a Chapter 4 podcast. Okay, once, we, once we're done with that, and by the way, so, so a little bit out of order, right? We've, we've prepared the adjusted trial balance. We've um, made, prepared the financial statements. Um, what we haven't yet done is record the actual adjusting entries. So it does a little out of order. That's why I don't really like the uh, worksheet. So when we go on to part four, now you're going to journalize and post the adjusting entries. So these were the adjustments you entered in in the worksheet. Now you're actually going to do the real adjusting entries, which we should have you know, just done earlier. Um, and then once you're done with that, you're then going to journalize and post the closing journal entries. And then you're going to prepare the post-closing trial balance. So this really takes us through every step in the accounting cycle, from analyze, journalizing, and posting transactions, all the way through to, to journalizing and posting the closing entries and the post-closing trial balance. OK, this is a, an assignment worth 100 points. Again, similar to most of your exams. Um, you can print stuff out. You can work on it ahead of time. Um, I'm hoping that you are successful in doing this. The, the, you know, we're doing this in Unit 5, so hopefully many of you have moved down the learning curve for my accounting lab that you are comfortable entering information in and so forth and, and can be successful. Okay, good luck. Um, it's due by the end of uh, Sunday for Unit 5. Oh, you know, actually, let me add one thing to that, just for clarification purposes. <laughs> Okay, a couple things I want to mention. Um, you may want to go back over the demo docs from chapter 2, 3, and 4. If you kind of do them all continuously, again, you'll see that full picture of what we're going to be doing in the comprehensive problem. Obviously, you can go back and look at any podcast that you need to uh, if, if you need any refresher on those items. And then I wanted to mention this idea about the uh, portfolio. So I don't know how many of you already have created a Campus Connect um, portfolio. There's a video on how to do that and, and a PDF. So what will happen is once, um, once the Unit 5 has completed, I will go and download your um, Chapter 5 Comprehensive or Unit 5 Comprehensive Problem into a PDF file that I will either email you or attach um, in Campus Connect in the gradebook and then you can take that file save it on your computer and then upload it into your uh, portfolio. Okay, big assignment. I wish you luck.